Chief Keef was a little ass goofy. So like, we took it serious, but we knew when we synced them what we was gonna do to them. We was gonna like slap them up, like treat them like a bitch. You feel me? Like we was gonna really treat them like a bitch. You feel me? But I mean, we felt like any other motherfucker felt. Like they knew what time it was when they said it. Yes. Act like they was on some fan shit, you know what I'm saying? Basically, trying to, you know, them niggas, they clout chasers anyway. They just want the clout, bro. So, they see probably see Breezo, they probably have you ever run down now. So think we can get some views off this shit, record them, you know what I'm saying? This shit, but they ain't, you know what I'm saying? The shit really look goofy as hell, though, bro. Because y'all ain't even do shit, bro. Like, how y'all drive on a nigga but don't drive, you feel me? Niggas just be fool, bro. Niggas, it's, it's, just, niggas be doing this shit for the entertainment, bro. They just be doing shit for views and... Wanna look good, bro. That shit really lame as hell, man. Shout out my boy Brizo, man. You know, he stood his own, man. As long as, bro, we can box, bro. Don't bring no guns, bro. Your people got guns. I'm not able to whip them up for nobody. But, but shit, you know, we ain't lacking either, though. But let's box. Let's be somewhere. Let's box. They recorded. We gone. The nigga, nah, fuck that. It's cracking. So I, I know what that means. So I'm all right with fucking it. It's cracking then. Pull up then. So I go to somewhere where they was like, shit, niggas can't come right here and post up. So she tweeted, you diss me on the song, you get your ass beat in public. Period. Like, I wasn't saying I'm going to kill a nigga, none of that shit, none of that. I'm going to fuck you up when I catch you. What you saying my name for? You said I'm soft. I'm going to show you when I see you. That's what it is. Now, he gets to putting up old videos, which I don't know who or where he got them from. Like, he writing down King Dry. Like, that same day. Like, all this shit is going on on Twitter and all that. So, you know me, I'm thinking, it's, it's that, nigga. You looking for me? You on my... I come outside, it's beautiful outside. It's fucking beautiful outside. His video is raining terribly. It's rain puddles. It's dark outside, all type of shit. I come outside, I'm fam. You're not even looking for me, dude. I come outside, it's so crazy. It's still on. That defeats your purpose, you feel me? If you if you want, if you the type of nigga to see the ops and you want to talk to him, then a motherfucker just shouldn't even go that route, you feel me? Because that ain't what we doing when we see the ops, you feel me? And on Breezy in, I just feel like, you so tough out here, you make yourself, you perceive, you make people perceive you as this tough guy, you feel me? Mm. And it's just like, even in any situation, like, and I'm not just talking off, ah, niggas say they gonna do when they never been. In the ops, bro. Same way they feel when we say we smoking J Money and we rolling up the new, it's just, that is a Chicago thing, man. So it makes me piss. <laughs> just like, it makes them piss. That's why we do it. Because it makes us, it's a way to get, it's a way to really get, get to somebody like me though. It wasn't really bothering me because he was blowing up at the time. And like, they were actually friends at one point, weren't they? Yeah. I, th I think they, I think young boy actually posted some pictures of them like together as kids and mm. stuff like that. I think so. Yeah. When you saw that, how how did you uh, how did you feel? I didn't see it. Oh, you never seen any of the posts or nothing else like that? Uh-uh. Okay. So at this point, did, did you and young boy ever talk or anything of that sort? No. I ain't had no conversation with him since 2000. He met by the sister too, though. About his sister? Yeah, I had fucked her a long time ago. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, he met no, about me. that. He was... He wasn't really tripping on it back then, though, you know what I'm saying? He be calling me big brother and shit, you hear me? I guess... He just let that fame and shit get to his head. Now he feel like he just this new nigga, whoever he supposed to be, whoever he called himself. Right, I mean, I mean, both of y'all are buzzing, man. I mean, I know a lot of people want y'all to do music together. What would that ever happen? Right. Wait, wait, what you said? I'm, will will, will y'all ever, will it ever happen to where, though? Because I know a lot of your fans want y'all to do music together. Yeah. I mean, will that, will that ever happen? I don't really too much see it happening like that. Like, I don't be with all that. I don't really be with all that. Like, I'm going to just do my thing and keep letting him do his thing. Same hood. See, same see, block. The, see, the reason is he's not really from the hood. That's why it's like that. That's why. Are you sure? I, You're saying these yeah, words right now. Yeah, the world is watching. Yes, yes. He's not from Wooga World. He came around Wooga World and started having affiliates. You know what I'm saying? But he's originally from, I think, um, 35th of Lake. Lake Park or South Village, somewhere out there in the suburbs. Both of them, both of them too. Probably to be, yeah, to be exact. That's where he really from. He not from 75th. Like, if you from from 75th, you'll have tattoos like I got 75 and shit.